younger, like a lot of little kids, I took piano lessons. I, although I was not a very good student, I did not like to practice, didn't like going to lessons. I was just an all-around stubborn and awful student. <laughs> Luckily, I had a good teacher. Her name was Judy Menson, and she was a retired school teacher. And she had the most patience with me and taught me really well. And today I will be talking about her great personality, the times we spent together, and all the lessons she taught me. Judy is probably one of the nicest, kindest, most generous people I've ever met. When she walks in a room, she's only about five foot two, and she has like a silver bowl cut, but she, <laughs> her voice and her laugh, are, you can hear them for miles away, and you automatically recognize them. She's nice to everyone she meets and is the, one of the most generous and patient people I know. And she also has one of the strongest faiths of anybody I know. Her husband, Alan, died a couple years ago. And when he died, she never said like he died or he passed away. But she said that now he's in heaven or he's with Jesus. And uh, her favorite thing to do is just talk with people. And she'll go to church and stay for like an hour afterwards just talking to everybody in the congregation. A lot of the times we spent together kind of reflect how dedicated she is to her students. We spent hours sitting at her piano bench as I plunked along to a couple of songs and tried to learn new songs. And even though that I wasn't a very good student, she still taught me well and still was dedicated to me and my improvement. She also spent time with all of her students by attending games, sports events, plays, any other kind of outside activity. She and her husband, Alan, were known for going to all the basketball games every year and every like Friday night. And she came to every one of my skating shows. And she still remains, well, or she still maintains relationships with all her students and like all her families by sending handwritten cards every holiday. So on like Christmas, Valentine's Day, I think there's like a 4th of July one, She'll send long handwritten cards and like perfect cursive that you can't even read just about her life and what she's done and her family and her trips. And so I think that's pretty special of her to do. She also taught me many lessons. Obviously she taught me how to play piano and even when I was a little stubborn about it. But a lot of the lessons I learned from her were in hindsight that I didn't realize until I grew up a little bit. But she was one of the best examples of patience, dedication, and genuine good. Like, she was a genuinely good person. And uh, she taught me those lessons. She also taught me undenying, like, just unreasonable, or not unreasonable, but, like, unending faith. And she was just a very good example of all those things. In conclusion, Judy had a great personality, spent a lot of time dedicated to her students, and taught me many lessons. I was lucky to have such a good piano teacher even when I was such an awful student. <laughs>